Previously on Survivor. After an individual immunity challenge, Josh and Eric were able to secure another week for themselves, despite being the targets. We could have take this opportunity to get Josh, Josh out. Yeah, with yeah, it, with I, mean, I agree. With no one else on the outs, Evan was unanimously taken out on Shikasha. On Pascala, Eric brought together his alliance and leveraged his advantage to go for Doug. Are you ready to leave Survivor or are you ready to make it to the merge? We're going Doug tonight. But Doug was able to weasel out of it. Can you just ask if I'd be willing to go for Chris? And Chris became the casualty from Doug's side. 15 or left. Who will be voted out tonight? Now that he's gone, like, it's. Like, we don't have him. I just don't know who we're gonna vote for. Yeah, we're not gonna lose. So. True. I mean, Evan being voted out is kind of like great. I'm still gonna push to get Josh out. I think that he has the idol at this point. Just, like, I can't trust him that much. I know he trusts me, but like, I just personally cannot trust him that much. I can't really see when it rains at night. Isn't that a fun fact? About like, taking a ride home with me. <laughs> just try not to crash in anybody. Oh, that would've been funny. We got the crash on Phil. <laughs> <laughs> no, for insurance purposes, I would ask you to delete that. Like. <laughs> Yeah, with Evan gone, this is probably one of the more complicated ones for me. I know uh, Southside, which is Mike, Liam, Jasmine, and I, they're gonna want Josh out, at least Liam and Mike. And I don't want that. Best case scenario, somehow Abby gets put it out. Abby? I want Abby. Abby makes the most sense for us, because I still think Josh would want to work with us. Yeah, that's how I don't. I can't see you. Abby trying to hop in. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And she already knows, like, people from the other tribe. And, right. Like, if there's a tribal saw, she was gonna have an advantage anyways. We voted out, like, the two easy people, right? That we've always decided. But after that, it's kind of scary because that's when lines are really drawn. After they go home, anything could happen. Like, anyone could go home. So we have, we have Mike and Abby, who we can trust to vote Josh, right? Yeah. So there's two for Josh. Yeah. Then we take two of us. Yeah. Vote for Josh. So that's four for Josh. The other two of us vote for Abby. So that's two for Abby. Yeah. Okay. Now the only two people you have left are Josh and Santi. But if they happen to vote together. Yeah. And they happen to vote for one of us. Uh -huh. Then Josh and and Josh plays an idol. Yeah. Then we have a 2-2 two, two split, Yeah. and we send Abby home. With Evan and Ivy gone, it's been a little bit of a scramble if we lose again. Um, some people say Josh, some people say Abby, I say Santi, but I say that very quietly. Mike and Abby don't really bother me. I was weary at first because I haven't really talked to Abby outside of challenges. But Mike kept insisting that, you know, she doesn't hate you, she just doesn't really think she needs to talk to anyone. Which I think might be true, because she is very friendly during challenges. Like, I don't necessarily think, like, she has it out for me or anything. Yeah. Well, I know that Mike doesn't want to work I with know, Josh. I know, Mike doesn't like Josh. But, like, yeah. what about the order? Like, what if they want to get rid of someone else before Josh? I'm confident. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't. I think Mike is also a little wary of... I like to think of myself as like a, a bridge builder in general. It's really hard to say what's best for myself right now even. Like I don't know honestly, right? Right. Because I don't know who's going to be loyal to me the most. Right. Um, me. Well obviously, but like this, we, it's like the two of us. We can't like just... No, I know, I know. Do you know what my advantage is? Are you going to tell me? Yeah. What is it? It's, a, it's, okay. a, it's steal a vote. Steal, steal somebody else's vote, take their vote, and use it for mine. That's pretty good advantage. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm gonna. But you're not using it anytime soon. I'm using, no, I'm using it for us. I don't like being a villain, and and you know that's what that's what we're that's what we're in the business of doing here. No pun intended. But. Neither Angie nor Morgan have given me any reason to distrust them, whereas Santi has given me reason to distrust. And them. Mike knows. Yeah. Mike knows Santi is fit. Like, we, we, might even, we might be able to get Mike in R4. We might be able to get Mike to vote out Abby. What if we just blindside a sound too? That'd be crazy!
so Dane and Doug talk, and Doug really wants it not to be him this week. And Dane promises it's not going to be Doug, so I, I'm like, I'm not going to force Dane to break his word. So I said, whatever, how about Chris? Everyone agreed on Chris. I think overall, the vote might have been a mistake. I think I've basically ruined any working relationship I have with Sadie. There's no reason for her to work with me anymore. There's no reason for uh, Doug or Tim to vote with me any to work with me anymore. So the only people I can like work with are Delaram and Dane. Are you sleep? Yeah, the weather just like made that so much worse and it just like was like a bad omen for like how that whole tribal was gonna go. It's not gonna get easier. I know that this game is designed for that. It's what happens in every play. But straight up at the end of the day it's a game. Like if you guys all blindside me, I'm I'm not gonna be you guys. Like I still like you guys as people. Except for you Dave. When Eric started making his aggressive comments in Tribal, I just wanted to stand up and look at him and say, Eric, stop talking. Of the way he spoke at Tribal, about how everyone is either with him or against him, that was the one point where it started to feel like, I'm not just working with someone, this is someone who wants a dictator position, who is using me to help make him powerful. I was like, <laughs> I feel the same way these people do because I'm not doing this because I necessarily want to, I'm doing it because of peer pressure. Yeah, exactly. It was just like, actually. The situation was just, it was just, the last hour was just bad. Are we like, it was awful. To what? Are we all being to you could it? argue that. Okay, so like basically I want to see like where you're at and then also like tell you what's going on from my perspective. So like... Yours is definitely my number one. I'm not just saying that because you're in front of me. Like that's what I've been telling the confessionals and like everyone who's not even a survivor. I know her and I are like each other's like number one and like she, she was just very honest with me and like same goes for her. I was just like who are you tightest with on like you and she said the same thing with me. So I originally wanted to vote Delaram out. I literally was like I felt so guilty. And like now like I'm like more willing to keep her around. Like I like feel like such a bad person. Dane and I like we're there's just like since we're like in the same fraternity, there's like that common courtesy kind of thing. Right. Um, and I really trust Eric. I mean, after last night, I didn't lose trust, but I just got hella confused. Cause, and I know like there's more to it, but like he's like, yo, Sadie did this. I'm like, Sadie wouldn't do that. Doug, I loved Doug to death. Yeah. No, I like Doug. Like, yeah. You and him were like, like the first two that I actually like connected with on the first day. Like, it's like. Me, Doug, Tim, Amanda, and then a lot of people are seeing it this way. It's a, that, it's, that you, a it's you, Dane, and Eric. Okay. So right now, like, you're in the minority. Because I do think Delaron could help us get numbers later, and I feel like she, she like, is a trustworthy person, because she's, like, I feel like she's just, like, so nice. Like, she can't backstab someone. Like, it would be so hard for her to backstab someone. Like, I don't know. I trust her, and, then like, we do, like, get along. And I really just don't think she's the person to be like completely fake this whole time. Like I feel like she's just a genu genuinely like nice person. Like I can protect you and like make sure that like that doesn't happen. Cause like obviously I'm like not trying to like go you out. Mm -hmm. And people do see you as a threat. Like we we've, we've talked about you because like Abby's on the other tribe. Like you know a lot of people in this game. Like what? I know a bunch of people on Shikasha. Abby's my roommate, they just think like my alliances will kind of get me far, like that's a threat, which like, I totally understand, it totally sucks, I don't think we're a happy close-knit tribe anymore, like, shit is real. I mean, literally everyone hates Eric right now, like, do you, like, the way he was talking last night in travel was like, so unnecessarily, like, rude, and like, I would like, reach out to Doug, probably, um, because he would definitely like, be willing to talk to you. And like he, he would also be willing to like vouch for you with like Tim and Amanda. So right now, Eric, I've wanted out. I've, I'm like tired of talking about how much I want Eric out because I say it every opportunity I get. But I feel more confident going into a tribe stop or merge with the red tribe than with Eric. I don't want to give him another clue in another five days if we win to be able to find it. He knows he's going home. Me and Sadie were debating earlier who <laughs> hates Eric more. I said I did. But, but I was like, that's not possible. I feel like it's not possible. Like, I hate him. No, same. Like, hate. <laughs> like, the word H-A-T-E. Like, and I've never said that about anyone. I don't think I've ever been like- I don't think I've ever really hated someone so exactly. much. I think it's clear who's the hero and who's the villain. Just, he was being very rude and like, threatening. And people like, 
me and Tim and Sadie and Delaram are all just like really like nice people that we don't want to associate with such a <laughs> we would not want to associate with such a villain. And he called me average, so he did. I was like, he, well, he was like, I think the new target is Doug. That's all I could say. And I was like, no, we need Doug. Like I was like, he's really useful in challenges, blah blah blah. And he just responded that he was like, Doug is average. It was like, how dare someone like go against him? Like. It just like was it was just really annoying, honestly. Honestly, I never really had like any intention of like really working with him. Like I was kind of just like using him. So it's just annoying now because I can't like manipulate him the way I wanted to. So I get a text the morning after tribal, you know, check your phone, and I get a lovely text from Eric, like. Oh my gosh, the joy that overcome me on that nice Monday morning. Hey, wanna talk? No. How did you know that you were in trouble? I like, heard from people that my name was being thrown around. Was it Amanda? I'm not gonna say who it was. And he like records us. His hand was shaking the whole time. I literally think he's scared of me. Why me? You're the only person who I don't have any feel for. Like, we've actually never talked before. Okay. And there, I, I was just like, there's no reason for you to vote with me. Oh my god. Eric, can you just tell me that you think I'm a threat? Or like, have a great social game? Or like, can contribute to our tribe? Or you want to like, bring people's trust? Why do you tell me that you care for me the least? That's the dumbest thing you could probably say. I, I understand completely if you want to get me out next week. It'd be beneficial for you to get Amanda out because she's not someone who would be good to work with. Like, I understand the game. Like, I'm not gonna go after, like, revenge. Like, I wanna get out who's best to get out for my game. So, like, I'm, it's not like I'm set on you because of this flip. Like, definitely not, like, oh yeah, we have to get Eric out or anything. I'm very open. And I just, like, because I wanna make the move that's best for my game. I was like, no, I would never play on, like, revenge. I'm not a stupid player. I just wanna do the best, best move for my game. So, like, I'm so open to voting Amanda out. Like, I try to be believable, and he's like, I know there's nothing I can do, and I was like, you're right. Like, because the only thing I have left is my word, and... You have one other thing. I have an extra blue. You're the idol, but... You do have... <laughs> I was just... Um, I can... Out of all people, you do actually have one thing to offer. Yeah. So, one thing I think I've been pretty good about this game is, uh, hiding who I am. And the people who know me best know that I'm actually a control freak and I'm not really a nice person and to be honest I'm not even a very truthful person so I don't even know how like I haven't really lied to anyone this game so like I don't know how that came up but like in my life I really haven't been a part of the group I've never really just been included so I think I was just kind of pissed off that even in like this game I'm, I'm not being included in things and I think it just ultimately came into me being a pretty big dick during Tribal. The people who I talk to, I use your name a lot because you're honestly the most likable person. Like, just like out of the tribe, I, I, I would say you and Tim and Sadie are the three most likable people. And I also think that you three were working together for a long time. So then like, one of you three had to go out, but everyone liked you guys too much to get voted out. So then that's why it was Chris. <laughs> Like, I wanted to be a villain coming into this game. I, I wanted to, like, make alliances just to backstab people, but, like, I can't really sleep that well. And when I'm going to sleep, the only thing I can think of is, man, I really, like, fucked up something. I don't know exactly what I did wrong, because everything I did, I did, it was just the game, right? So I met with Eric. I don't know where you want to start, but I'll start with that. And it was just really like uncomfortable the whole time. He was basically like, I, I have nothing else to offer you except my word. Amanda flipped, so I'm gonna vote for her next one. So you can choose to vote with me or not. And I was basically, and I was like, okay, I'll think about it. Yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like we can keep Amanda around. Like I do think that she's like very trustworthy. I just. It's not that we don't click even, it's just like we're not super close. Like, we usually just communicate to each other through like Tim and Doug. Like, we never really talk one on one. Yeah, it's gonna be really awkward for me because he's just gonna be like, you flipped, or I'm gonna be like, because you were an asshole. Like, I was gonna vote, like, I'm gonna say, like, I was gonna vote with you, which like wasn't even really true. 
But like I, ha I was more likely to vote with him if he wouldn't have been such an asshole. Yeah. I told him though, I was like, we're not set on you. I was like, we don't. I, like, I'm not gonna play personal on our bands. I was like, I'll vote out who. I'm playing all our bands right now. No, I am 100. He was such an asshole. Yeah, he was so rude. Yeah. And then he was like, like vote with the tribe, and I can protect you. Yeah. I was, I was like, like yeah, you can. I was like, literally after this tribal, like, you have no power. Like yeah. you are in the minority. Like in terms of our alliance, like going forward. I think there's like new relationships that have to be formed. Like Sadie and I have to like work on being closer and like talking and stuff. Sadie trusts Doug fully. Like I think they've talked a lot more than I realized initially. We're fine going forward. Obviously, it just sucked that like we wanted to keep working with Chris. Like we wanted Chris around. So Jeff, yeah. 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 Your mate is not like in any alliance. Like, she's like a, like a sitting really? duck kind of. Yeah. So like even if we get Dom on our side too, we could even have yeah. Abby on our side. But... Yeah, I'm meeting with Liam, because Liam was like asking me to meet with him, like, but I think I want to get a good sense, like, of like, who's working with who on yeah. the tribe. Well, here we have the latest species to the University of Maryland. Wanna get you? Wanna get you? Chikasha, welcome back to New Kaskala. Kaskala, welcome back to New Chikasha. Evan and Chris voted out at the last tribal councils. Amanda, do you feel like the game's really started now Now that you've had to vote out three people from your tribe that things are getting a little more serious? Yeah, I think like right before our last tribal council is when people really started playing the game. Like everyone is playing the game. Well, it's good to hear because uh, I think it's time we change things up a little. So. For a while, you guys have been playing at STEM vs. Humanities, so today, we're not having a swap, just so you know. We're going to have something a little different. No matter what major, no matter what school you're in, everyone has to take something. They're called Gen Eds. So this, we're calling a Gen Ed Challenge. If you win immunity in this challenge, you will not be going to Tribal Council at all. However, if you do not get immunity, you will be going to Tribal. That means anyone from any tribe can go to Tribal together. Like kind of. <laughs> so, the challenge we're going to be playing is called Food Chain. One at a time, you're each going to come up and get an animal. There are 15 different animals. They all have specific wind conditions, special abilities, and preferred habitats. To win immunity in this game, you have to satisfy that animal's wind condition. So you can make it through this entire game without getting killed, but that doesn't mean that you've won immunity. So you're going to come up, I'm going to give you an animal. You're going to then get to peek at one person, and then we're going to have you split into four different habitats. The river, the forest, the plains, and the sky. There are four rounds of this game, and each round you have to choose a habitat. You can't be in the same habitat two times in a row unless it's your preferred habitat. And you have to be in your preferred habitat at least within two rounds. So you can be in it the first round, but you have to get back in it by the third round. You can't skip it until the fourth round. And there are four predators in this game. They have the ability to kill prey. By doing that, all they have to say is, I attack so-and-so. So for instance, I could be like, I attack Doug. The crew will keep track of whether you will actually die or not. If you are dead, they will tell you, and you will leave the game. By the end of this challenge, it could be all 15 of you going to the same tribal, or it could be as little as maybe two or three. That's really up for you to decide. For now, we're gonna get started. Our tribe, like, personally doesn't like Eric. Okay. That's just like... Same with our tribe, yeah. so... Okay. <laughs> like, our tribe will go for we'll Eric if that's what you guys want to do. Yeah. Yeah, we're willing to sacrifice like, how much? Our how much... Santi's peeking at Eric. If we go to the same environment, they will tell each other. Okay. Good, this is going to be a team effort. And then, yeah, then we're <laughs> Eric, yeah. Make sure you understand the wind condition. Okay. So, I don't know. 
I knew he had it. Yeah, so I, was I like, hope telling you guys this means that you can. Yeah, no, I think I've been at your place. Tell me how to spell yeah. your name so I can vote for you and try. <laughs> Our two clues were like unrelated, basically. Like they, we thought we, we found had, the other clue. We had. Oh yeah. Are you the? Oh, wow, I'm telling you guys a lot. So <laughs> you can trust me. Well, I mean. I feel like I like I really like your guys' tribe. Like I like get along with all of you. Yeah. I feel like I What's your number you actually? <laughs> okay. It's good to be talked to, Abby, because I've never yeah. talked to you yet. Yeah. I feel, like I really like Dalram. So. Mm -hmm. That makes one of us. <laughs> we like talk about the game sometimes, but like, we don't tell each other like everything. Yeah, that's the same with me and Santiago. You can strategize for five minutes. So we can talk about anything? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm snake. I tell them to start strategizing and they decide to divide by tribes. It's an individual challenge. I wouldn't do this, but who am I to talk about winning a game? I think that's his strategy though, actually. Like, I think that's an actual strategy. If we, honestly, if we always, we can go to each other so we can just go with them all. Doug, stop. Doug is the goose. Doug is the goose. Should we just know who Sure, I mean, I'll do that. It's a pretty huge commitment. I mean, I'd be willing to do it if we want to protect each other's safety yeah. and for okay. real this is going to be yeah. I'm going to go over there so they can't talk to us. So do we want to talk about it? No, but like, wait, I want to decide. Wait, yeah, I want to decide. Wait, 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 come back, come back. Okay, you're fine. Okay. Um, Alright. Like we have 30 seconds. We have 30 seconds. Doug, come back. Oh, Doug, come back. Doug. We have 30 seconds. Y'all are walking away from Chikasha. There is no tribal music. There is no mixing. Are you serious? <laughs> and now they're all coming together. You're hurt animal? Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to stay alive. All of us need to stay alive together. Of course you're trying to stay alive. Wait, no, no, we're not ready yet. All right, no more talking. So, what I'm gonna have you guys do is please line up. I'm gonna come around to each of you, and you're gonna pick, don't say it out loud, obviously. Alright, everyone is chosen. Please go to the space that you've chosen. Not like this. <laughs> One of you is the crocodile. Fuck you. <laughs> I hate all of you. <laughs> it's you? so obvious. Oh no, I'm the crocodile. Uh, Alright, once everyone's there, we'll start going. Well, I'm a rhino. <laughs> we don't know who we, we all are. We're just curious. So, is there a reason you're in the planes? Maybe. So Pascal's strategy was to actually have everyone lose, so we'll be in the majority if we all go to tribal. 
So that's why I'm here, because so I'm not with other herd animals, and I thought I was going to get eaten by the eagle, but like, luckily I'm not. I personally don't want to lose. I don't really want to go to tribal. So my strategy is just to survive, but I have to come to the sky twice. So I'm going like, to leave, maybe go to like, the forest next time, and come back for the third round, and hopefully I'll survive, because I don't want to go to tribal, even though we're all supposed to lose. It's a lie. Wow. I attacked Eric. What? No way. How are you? How do we do this? I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm the one power to make sure he's dead. I feel so mean. I feel like he's going to go for you. Yes, it's really easy. But he can hide in here. So I can't kill him. Is there anyone? Um, I can't kill him. Wait, can we all say that? Like, like, wait, not as good as you can do that. He's too close to me. He can kill him. He can kill him. Eric said he was an eagle, but I was an eagle. So we knew he was a chameleon, so we could pick him off easy. Because he's, he's the eagle, everyone else is different. So he's just chameleon to be the eagle. So, so he could. You can't go in this car. And Eric is dead. You got one down. One down already. Alright. So is Nellor like. You ruined the strategy. You ruined the strategy. We only survived. So we were going to get into it. Not start. He was a, he was a Egyptian. He just talked like before and like was like, I'm gonna kill Liam. And I was like, wait, what? Hold on, that was not the plan. What? Oh my oh, god. Wait, 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 you had a plan in your tribe? Yeah. Yes. Tried to kill you? Oh my god. I was that's like, wait, hold on, oh, what? Dude, that's... you fucking got the outside of your tribe, dude. I don't know how to reveal that. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, that blows. Wait, was it Joe? Was it Joe John? I don't know. Just the crow too. So now, if the eagle comes here, it's either me or the crow that's gonna die. And the eagle. I'm gonna go this guy. Yeah, I attack her. Okay. So, and do do I have it. to go right now? Yeah. Do you think? What's up, Andy? I feel good. I fulfilled my special requirement for eating two people. I mean, our plan was to get as many as them as we could. Um, this looks like it's happening. I'm gonna stay here, control my habitat, kill Doug if he comes back, and that's gonna be that. I know you're the eagle. <laughs> 
Look, wait, wait, okay. Before you kill, let me give you a thing. So I'm the goose. What, what are the numbers right now? Jasmine, I think I can trust Jasmine. I think I can, like, get her. Because, yeah. But we don't know whether all those people are necessarily going to tribal. Oh, that's true. So you have to kill two rounds, correct? I'm... I don't want to go to tribal, and I just have a chance of going out, and I want to work with you down the line in this game. So if I'm there, it has a risk of going out. However, you still have another opportunity to kill someone. That's not me. That was a good. Here's what I'm worried about. Um, okay, she's gonna be alone. Gosh! I, I hear the ferret. Yes, I want him out. Okay. And your tribe is down. Vote. It's true, but what if something changes? Eric has like seven tricks in his And he's been targeting me, Josh. Has he? Yeah. He, he started this whole thing to get me out. And I swear, like, you can ask Santiago. I came in the dorm after studying and I was screaming. I was like, I'm going home tonight. And literally the hour before, I had to convince everyone else not to vote for me. Okay. So, like, I really don't think it's in your best interest down the line for this game to come right now. If you already have one, though. I think you've convinced me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, I, I attack her, I die. She loses her invincibility. And then I attack. And then we have more numbers. Yeah, don't no, worry. Let's do that. Okay. okay. So I attack her. Okay. I'm dead. So Mike's dead. Mike, Mike. Mike needs three, so he might have to kill himself. Well, he only really needs two. Because no, I think he's two. Okay. And then I attack you. And then right. we got one. I found one more person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you just killed that? Right. Abby and Mike are both dead. It was a suicide, yeah. Oh, and Sadie. Uh, Jasmine and Liam are both safe. They're not going to travel. So it's literally going to be Angie, Abby, and the rest of Pascal. They'll be okay. They should go for Eric. So, I think it worked out okay. Could have been better. <sighs> Doug should know what he's doing. I think no, dude. He's gonna survive, but he should know uh, not to. So, I'm probably gonna just tell our tribe that you didn't need me because... Also, that I asked you to die to be the rest of my tribe. And you're just like, caught on. Yeah, all they have to do. Yeah, like, we can all do it. The game is over. We're going to say who satisfied their win condition. The chameleon was Eric. Your condition was to survive. You could not. The crocodile. Your win condition was to survive. So Morgan will not be going to tribal council. The crow, which was Dane. You had to pick an animal before the game started, and if they won, you also won. And you chose the porcupine. Abby did not, Dane, you did not. All right, deer. The deer was Angie. You had to survive, you didn't. You're going to tribal. Eagle was Josh. You had to kill twice, and you did. So, congratulations, you have immunity. The Egyptian plover was Liam. You survived if the crocodile survived, so congrats. Goose was Doug. You had to survive. You did, congrats, immunity. Hyena was Amanda. The lion had to die for you to succeed. The lion didn't die, so sorry. 
The lion was Santi. You had to eat every single round to win. You did. The mouse was Delaram. You won if the lion won, so congrats. You won. The otter was Sadie. You had to survive. You didn't survive. <laughs> Alright, the porcupine was Abby. Abby, you had to survive. You didn't survive. Tim, you were the rabbit. You had to survive. You didn't survive. The snake was Mike. Mike, 10 people had to die. Congrats. You, you win immunity. And then finally the turtle. You had to survive as long or longer than the rabbit. Tim, you died the second round. Jasmine, you died the third round. So you satisfied. Congratulations, you have immunity. Which means the seven of you, Abby, Angie, Dane, Eric, Tim, Sadie, and Amanda, will be going to tribal council together. One of the seven of you will be voted out of this game. Belram, Doug, Liam, Morgan, Josh, Fonte, Mike, and Jasmine. You want immunity, you will not be going to Pebble Council for the rest of you. You guys have a couple days to figure it out. Otherwise, got nothing for you. You guys are free to go. For myself, because I was a hyena, like I had a very slim chance of being safe from tribal. So I was like, we need to do this as a tribe. Like, if possible, you need to lose. At the end, the majority of Chikasha didn't go to tribal, and the majority of Piscala did. It's five to two. I'm glad Eric is. Um, I think when we all saw um, him die, we were very happy. I think, like, you could have been a little less. Dickish. Yeah, like yeah, cocky, no. cocky, I guess. Like, I can't trust Eric. I can't trust Dane. So, why keep Eric when you can't trust him? I've been going to people and just apologizing. <laughs> Honestly, like for the past couple days, I've been just going yeah. to people. Like, I went to Doug and I just apologized. I'm like, I'm sorry. They were breaking the alliance that night. It was gonna be Delaram out, and then you. Like, that's why there were two votes for Delaram. Like, yeah. I wasn't lying when I told you it was Delaram, and then I'm yeah. not lying, like, when it, I'm saying that it would have been you next, but, like, yeah. hopefully now, if we vote together, it won't be, uh, it won't be, yeah. it won't be you. Hopefully. You can just, like, ride it through the merge. I I'm gonna be at the bottom wherever I am. I have a couple allies right now, but, I like, I don't know what they can do for me. I think. Having a fresh start might even be better for me. So, yeah, tribal lines are thick. Apparently, Abby doesn't really have any alliances. Really? So, that was kind of like, oh, well, and now that whole reason for voting Delaram is kind of a waste. Like, but I'm not going to change it now, I guess. Like, maybe Abby does, and we don't know. Like, yeah. I don't know. But that, it kind of made me be like, oh, okay, maybe we should reconsider. After a challenge, Dane called me and told me that I would be safe this week. I was like, I, I, I have no clue how you knew that. And I guess all I can do is believe Dane or find the idol because those are <laughs> the, those are kind of my only two choices. So our plan is to get out Abby, just like I told you before. Okay. It's very straightforward just because, you know, she's like we can't just assume that a tribe slot's gonna happen. Like if that, yeah. if it doesn't happen we need strength in our tribe. And we wanna take out the strongest person up for both. Honestly, I'm gonna work on Sadie right now because she seems like the ideal player to be in an alliance with. She's not absolutely the strongest player in the game and she doesn't have a target on her back, but she's also by no means a weak player. I really do feel like she wants to invest in being in an alliance with me. And so, despite after everything that happened last Tribal, we talked it over. Now is the time to start playing the villain. I want Eric out for emotional and personal reasons. I know he's a strong player and I know he's going to be a threat and my big second personal reason is because you used me as a pawn last week, Eric, and I am not okay with that. I'm gonna show you what kind of power I have, and I want to blindside you this week. I mean, I'm fine with Abby. I'm fine with Abby. I'm fine with Abby. I don't want to get rid of Abby, but if it's not me, <laughs> hey, that's good. I think Dane still doesn't trust me completely, even though I went, I, I told him everything. I gave him everything I had, because like whenever we talk, he still seems to be holding something back. But uh, all I can do now, because I used up everything, is uh, is to hope that the people who I help will will help me like, for at least one more week. Like she could definitely win like immunity challenges that were like physical. Like yeah. she you could probably beat. like beat some of the guys and like yes. she could beat like, me. <laughs> Abby could definitely beat Mike in like a track 
path oh, challenge, uh, like a hurdles thing. Oh well, yeah, I'm first one done in that challenge with the hurdles. Hey, good for you. No, like first one out. Oh, oh first one out. Like, like first one out. <laughs> Me doing the hurdles, like really got it. Like, I don't know, maybe you had a track and field shirt. Like. I mean, yeah, I ran the two miles. Yeah. <laughs> so, I I'm in a position where if I wanted to scheme, I could try talking to Ange and Abby. When you make a move, you have to make sure you're going to win when, after it's done. You have to make sure that the outcome is worth the risk. I mean, obviously I don't want Angie to go home and like I know that it probably would be Angie before Abby because Abby's really close to Delrom. I think Sadie's like a pretty strong player, honestly, and she feels pretty safe right now. So and I know that she has pretty good alliances with people on her tribes. I don't really care about like Abby to be honest because Abby and Mike are like pretty close. Really? Not gonna lie. Because I really want Angie to stay. Like, okay, I'm, I'm not like trying to get her out. I'm Abby. literally trying to get Eric yeah. out. Like, I'll be completely honest with you. And if you want to tell, like, that's what I was saying before when I was texting, I was like, just tell her to trust me. Tell yeah. her to vote with me. And like, because right now I have me, Tim, Amanda. If I get Angie, that's four. Yeah. That's the majority. And also, I'm going to talk to Abby because me and Dale are really close. Me, me and Delaram, her roommate, are really oh, close. Oh, right, right. Okay. So Delaram told Abby to trust me also. Okay. So we have five. Perfect. Like, I trust Sadie like 100% right now. And they say, she says they really want to get Eric out. Let me tell you, like, Santi was the most popular kid on our whole tribe. Like, after, like, since, ever since day one, Santi really? is the person that most people have turned to, like, wanting to build an alliance with. Like that's trusting. that's basically who's that on our tribe? That's like Doug on our tribe. Yeah, and Doug and Doug are roommates. Yes, yeah. and she like told me everything like basically that was going down on her tribe. So like I feel pretty comfortable with her now for the most part. Like she still is like a little sketchy to me. Like to be honest, like I don't fully trust her, but I think that um, she trusts me to a certain extent, and we're kind of like we're tra we're like building our relationship right now, which is good. Since Angie and Abby have, are going to this trial with us, I've had a chance to talk to them pretty much. And I think me and Abby have built a good relationship. So basically, I don't know if Delaram told you anything. Like, did she tell you anything? Because I talked to her a little bit after the challenge. Yeah, she told me that you guys are thinking of getting Angie. No, Eric. Okay, I'm so down for getting Eric. Oh I my thought gosh. you guys used that as a boy. No, we're like, okay. Okay, because you guys were like, oh, we want everyone on our team to die. And I'm like, okay, well now there's like less Chikasha. Like maybe you're going to try and get one of us out. And you're going to use Eric like as like a, like one of, like a sacrifice. But like so, why do you want to get him out now? Like I thought you guys liked Eric. No. Why? No, we, we literally all like hate him. I do feel like I'm on the chopping block at being one of two Chikasha versus five Pascala, but I do feel that my relationship with Delaram could maybe allow her to like pull some strings and get them to like spare me at least for this round. But Sadie is basically my link to the other Pascala, and so like I trust Sadie, but at the same time I feel like like she holds all the information. Like if I don't hear from her, like I'm not gonna hear it. So she can tell it to me any way she wants. Like you're my like you're my girl. I don't want to get you out. Like yeah. my number one target there right now. So like if you want to come to us, like yeah. like come work with us. Like I really don't want to get you out. Like that's not my plan. Like I like you. Yeah. I believe Sadie's a really strong player, and I believe she'll be like at least top ten. And so like if a merge happens, it would be nice to have someone on the other tribe, just as like maybe even a fallback plan. Say he did have the idol. What would be plan B? Well, so that's what we're we have to account for. But this involves all five of us like keeping like staying to our word. Because if one of us flips, this plan goes to shit. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna split the vote. I would care more if Abby went home than Angie, because I think Abby and I like we just like clicked, like she's super chill and said so I'm like closer with Delarom now. I think that I can use Abby a lot later. Cause I can like do my best to protect like your best interests so like this might be completely stupid of us to do and i still really don't want to do it mm -hmm. but i think it's going to be eric unless he has an idol and, that that and then be, throw the... it has to be we have to throw we're gonna, i think we're going to throw two votes at one of the two of them i would prefer it to be abby i'm pretty close to angie i'd like to work with you and angie I would... forward uh -huh. i'm afraid that if i can't convince him to vote for Angie, 
instead of Abby. Angie's very connected, which if I can really buddy up to Angie, that would be good for me. But also, if she's super connected, can I trust her? Hey Angie, what's up? Uh, I'm just, uh, I guess, doing some thinking. Here's the deal. They want to put some votes on either you or Abby. Those votes can go to Abby if you like promise that you'll vote Abby if there's a tie. I really hope I can trust Liam, but I'm very hesitant about that too. And I don't know how close Angie and Liam are. I don't know whether it's something where I can work with Angie and not work with Liam. Like, I don't know whether she'd ever be okay with voting out Liam. Hey, Angie. I'm a, wait, is it Abby or Amanda? Amanda. Um, like, this is just like very last resort. We're just trying to plan ahead. I'm okay with voting Abby because ultimately I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not on the chopping block. Yeah. Really, like, it, there's like such a slim chance if either of you get votes that even if you do get votes, you'll go home. Like, I really don't think it's gonna happen. We called Angie, and she basically was, like, very worried that she was gonna get votes tonight because Sadie had told her originally, like, okay, we're gonna vote two votes to you just in case Eric has an idol, but, like, no one wants to be told that. No one wants to be told, oh, yeah, we're gonna throw two votes at you. Like, there's a chance you could go home if Eric has an idol. Eric created a group chat with me and Angie and it's called let's not get voted out or something dumb and he basically just writes don't trust anyone in my tribe let's stick together and vote someone out like I don't respond and I'm like Sadie what is this I could possibly go home tonight or like get eliminated but that's only if Angie and Abby screw you over or they have immunity correct that's only if Eric has immunity idol and Dane flips on us so Eric's <laughs> voting for me. I have Dan voting for Eric, me voting for Eric. Angie is also voting for Eric. Angie and Abby would both vote for Eric, right? Correct. Yes. I have you two, because you, you two are the ones I trust most out of all of us. I, you, I have you two voting for Angie. So basically, if Eric doesn't have the idol, he's going home, right? Yeah. And then if he does have the idol, Angie's going home. So I kind of created like a safety net for myself, because I think Eric's going to go after me tonight. So basically the way it's set up right now is Eric will get four votes, Angie will get two votes, and I will get one vote, assuming Eric's the one that's like voting for me. I just, do we want to vote for Angie or Abby? That's like what we have to decide. Because I think I'm going forward, seven. we could work with Angie more. Yeah. I was thinking we could work with Abby more. I like Angie. I'm definitely going forward very worried about how much she's controlling the game. Not even really that she is making moves that I don't agree with. Um, I just don't like that she's making the moves and not me. Today is the first time that I really noticed how much she was running the show and I don't like it, but we need her as a number for now. I just really hope that Doug, Tim and I are still in agreement that it would be her leaving before it'd be one of the three of us. I think Abby is on the bottom of like their tribe. So she's the one that's easier to get to flip. I'm a little bit nervous about this because Santi and Doug and Liam all really like Angie and they're, they're as a group. So I don't want to like annoy them. Abby's on the outside of tribe. Is she? I think, from what I can tell. Yeah, and I was talking to Santi and Santi was talking about how he really liked Angie. Yeah. And like how he think, thought he like he could really work with Angie, like we work with Angie. Like, like I think neither one is like a good choice. Like honestly, like we thought like, oh, this is a good situation to be in. Yeah. And I I now it's just like I wish I was not mm -hmm. in this at all. What animal in this game would represent me in real life? And if the rabbit is who I am and is who I'm going to be from now on. In my job, in my home, in my family, and I have to like take a serious long look in the mirror and think do I want to be a rabbit, or do I want to be the lion? You and I are supposed to vote for Angie. If both of us just voted for Abby... But I don't want to go behind people's back. I don't want to go behind people's back, I know. I, I think it's definitely worth talking to people about. I lose Liam's trust, but at the same time, the wrath of Sadie will come after us if we don't vote with how she wants us to.
is a very unique travel capsule because it's not a slop, it's not a merge, it's just sort of uh, in between. Gen Ed. Gen Ed. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Right. Nice haircut. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Amanda. During the challenge, I asked everyone to strategize for a couple minutes. You guys just split into your tribes, even though it wasn't a tribal challenge. That's just natural for everyone to do. No one was really playing a risky, like, game at that point. Why is it, like, dangerous that you're trying to talk to the other tribe? I honestly didn't even feel it was dangerous. I felt that they didn't want to talk to us. I walked over to try to talk to the people on the other tribe. Didn't even face me. Couldn't talk to any of them. So I just felt excluded. I don't know why they feel that way. I mean, it's a chance to form alliances if a tribe swap does happen. Angie, that has to be a good thing to hear. Oh, I mean, obviously because me and Abby are the only ones from Chikasha, so I don't know what they're all planning right now. So it just kind of puts me in a bad spot. So Tim, there's seven on Pascal in total, and then there's eight on Chikasha. Is that taking into account how you're voting tonight, or is that just like superfluous information? It's certainly taken into account, uh, but at the same time, you have to write your own ship before that. And I feel like that's definitely also taking into account in this game, and definitely this tribal. Eric, with it being five to two, <laughs> is it just going to be an easy split of, all right, there's five of us, let's just get out of Chikasha person? Uh, that's what the original plan was, so hopefully that's the plan going into this. But yeah, last week didn't go nearly as uh, well as I thought it would. I feel like I kind of, uh, I kind of goofed, so I definitely would consider my actions quote unquote dickish, if that's allowed on this G-rated show. <laughs> Sadie, do you feel like Eric was being dickish last time? Um, I mean... <laughs> I think that like <laughs> some of the things he said like could have brought like rubbed people the wrong way he, like Eric said something about like oh I'll protect you so it's like oh I don't actually have a say like Eric will just protect me like I'm just like under his wing kind of thing but I don't think that makes Eric like a bad person <laughs> Abby <laughs> oh, this has to be a good thing to hear you know does this give you hope that hey me and Angie can get out of here I mean it does like give us a little bit of hope because to see like a little bit of discord among Pascala members but at the same time it's still five to two and they're a little behind in the numbers game so I still feel in danger. So Eric what can you say right now that sort of can guarantee you won't be in danger? Last week I gave everything up. I gave like what, uh, whatever honesty I had I gave whatever uh, loyalty I had, I gave. I haven't been feeling great this week. Like during the challenge, I wasn't really smiling. Uh, during any, like, even just like talking to other people, I've just kind of been feeling bad. So I'm not saying about me out. I would love to say, and I think I could definitely still help a lot in challenges, but everyone else in this tribe is also smart, so they don't necessarily need me. Tim, what are the benefits of keeping Eric? Uh, there are several benefits. He's obviously shown, uh, shown himself to be strong as an individual in the challenges and as like a, working with the team. Uh, in the same breath, like we're also pretty confident that the second we come to emerge, there would be some tribe swapping that he would just flip on us in a second. So it comes down to within the tribe, in, like in competitions, he'd be an asset, but post merge, he's definitely a liability. I think there's a couple more weeks before that merge, so yeah, maybe you should could keep me. You can put me on next tribal, or the one after that, or maybe uh, the final two. <laughs> Abby, how can you sort of sway people's votes to not come to you? They keep talking about how Eric's a liability, and I'm taking accounting class, and you should try and minimize your liabilities. So <laughs> I think <laughs> that, do, like, <laughs> like, with all this, like, discord and, like, infighting, maybe that they would want to stabilize their team. Dane, there's been a couple unanimous votes in this game. Do you feel like tonight's going to be unanimous, or do you feel like tonight's a shit show? Not at all. It's absolutely not going to be unanimous. There's too many different factors that are going into this vote, and there's too many different directions the game can take depending on your vote outcome. Alright. Unless anyone has anything else they want to say, time to vote. Pretty God, I'm not going home. I'm gonna be so sad if I do. Whatever. Gonna 
better you than your end. I definitely messed up. I think this game was my game to win, but Dane saved my ass. Save me. You know, I'm kind of putting my whole reputation on the boat here. No scenario of this tribal goes the way I want it to. So. Alright. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Alright. <laughs> Once the vote's been read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the Tribal Council area immediately. I'll read votes. First vote, Sadie. Abby. Eric. Abby. Eric. So there's two votes Eric, two votes Abby, one vote Sadie, two votes left. Six votes. Eric. Six person voted out of Survivor, major conflict. Eric, try this one. Bad man. Well, we're all expecting a tribe slot. I can't tell you if there is or not. <laughs> but, uh, have a good night. Well, I won't say that wasn't expected. I got a lot more emotional than I thought I would this game. It actually really took a big toll on me, like, as a person. I started feeling like I was a bad person, even though I feel like I was just playing a game, which I was, so. I had a lot of fun, and I feel like I could have made more friends if I was just, uh, more genuine person myself. It was my fault for not looking towards new people to work with. It was my fault for not uh, for not reaching out to more people. Oh well, right. It was fun though. It was fun. Next time on Survivor. With 14 players left and tensions rising on both tribes, there's only one thing left to do. Drop your buffs. Uh, yeah. Yeah.